at yeah. Rutgers right now. And it's a place today where the kids want to go play there. It's become a mega, a mega program in the Northeast. Is that the Boston College course? Of course. Third down and short. Hand off to Rice. Rice cuts it on the outside. And now it's just a foot race. Rice powered as well. Wow. Should have been pushed out and then finally oh. caught from behind, but not before he crosses the goal line for a touchdown. 90 yards on you, the run. You thought it was a foot race. The, the foot race didn't matter. That, that was one of the best stiff arms I've seen out Eddie in the open. Eddie Burke. Eddie Burke had him not only on speed, but also on angle. Upper body. He went for the upper body. Go for the legs. Wrap those legs up and hope you can hang on. And I'm not 100% sure Rice actually got into the end zone. Well, they're they're going to kick it. Make sure it's too late. Too late. All right, he's officially in the end zone, Bath. My, my, my. And as predicted by Doug Flutie, <laughs> Ray Rice over 200 yards on the game. What a run. His third of the game. That was Ray Rice, a clear path through. Great job of execution up front. As you see, Anthony Davis just swallow the linebacker and allow Ray Rice to get into the second level. Show the speed to the outside. And then what a stiff arm on Eddie Boy, Burke. stick him in the chest. Now he starts breaking up. Now he's like, I just want to get to that goal line. I want to get to that goal line. I still think his knee was down before he was in the end zone. Well, you give the man the touchdown. Oh, come on. The longest play from scrimmage for Rutgers this year. Look, the boy's mama called the boy Ray. I'm going to call the boy Ray. Exactly. Ray ran, boy. <laughs> Let's go back and take another look at Ray Rice. Underwood gets a great block on the play as well. The receiver... Pushing B.J. Hill down inside, and Rice bouncing outside. It's all three blocks. Everybody had their assignment. Everybody made a great block, and that's why you break long runs. Teams that generally run the football well have receivers that get downfield and take care of their blocks in the second and third levels. And you, you just mentioned it right there. Tyco and Underwood really blocked two players by just using his body and shielding and allowing Ray Rice a clear path to the left sideline. Great job by Rutgers.